Hello, dear aquarist. Welcome again to one of my cases of fish diseases. And today you selected the one of the Danio Kiatit. Yes, a special Danio, which is becoming popular in our aquarium industry and the hobby. And I show you here what I found uh, on this Danio by doing my microscopic examination. And the Kiatit Danio had Odinium or velvet disease have gill rot and a nematode worm infection. Here I show you my findings and details on prevention, diagnosis and good treatments you can find in my books in different languages available on my website. And here we saw the Danyokiatid which were presented to me and you see a few in the back, black ones, skinny ones. In front are the healthy ones which are still not badly infected, maybe, maybe slightly infected. Here you see a skinny one. I show here another video. You can see here the one typical, this kind of symptom. Look at that, how skinny it is, getting losing color. It's not eating well because the healthy ones taken away all the food. And some of the other fish might have a little infection, but these ones in the back have heavily infections. So they're the ones that are gonna die in the coming days. And if you don't do anything, well, the other ones might get serious sick and they may also, also can start to die. We took a scraping and we found only two Odinium parasites. Here is one and here is one. On the skin, very few. In the gills, we found more. One here, this particular gill, we found three. And here, I show you the video when I observed all the gill arch, you see all the black spots. Those are all parasites odium. These bubbles are air bubbles, these round things. And you see also the damaged tissue might be caused by the parasites because parasites make a little damage and where a bacteria can intrude and can invade and can create in that lesion a bacterial infection. Here show you another video at a higher magnification, 200 magnification. You see all the different parasites sitting there and causing damage and lesions shouldn't be there. And you should control that on time before the damage gets very seriously because the fish will eventually die due to the damaged gill tissue caused usually by the bacteria. And at the same time, we found internally a nematode we found two of them, small one and this bigger one. And well, this is of course affecting the health of the fish. Worms shouldn't be there. And it's a, not a small worm, it's a nematode, a round worm, which can cause some damage to the intestinal wall and creating a stress to the fish. So what can I suggest for treatments here? Well, for the very skinny, weak fish, it might be too late. It's better to put them asleep. Try first to treat the infected gills because that's usually the, where the fish is dying from. And you have to treat against the velvet disease, the odinium. So you can combine like a treatment antibacterial together with an odinium treatment. And you can get that through your pet shop. They have a quite good of amount of odinium velvet disease treatments available and ask them for a combination with an antibacterial medication. Your pet shop should know it. Later on, you can treat the worm infection. That's not so urgent. The urgent is the gills. And that can be treated, for example, with Prazicantel or a similar medication. You can find details about that in my books. Help to restore the fish health. So he also can fight off the worm infection and get starting to repair his immune system to become stronger. And we recommend for this our functional fish food, Dr. Baslier buy fish food pumpkin seed extract. More details on treatments, prevention and control of fish diseases in my books and a training on fish diseases you can find at my Patreon channel. So I hope this video explained you something more about the disease case with Odinium on the Danio. Yes, Danios are susceptible to Odinium, not these fish in the back here. Those are orcas. We watched a couple of years ago in Norway at the fjords. Something recommendable. 
That's why I show you this nice picture during my presentation. Thank you for watching.